13 on your side sports sponsored by my Toyota of Muskegon. Last year, at Big Ten Media Days, the Michigan State football team was coming off an impressive 11 and 2 season. A trip to the college football playoff seemed potentially on the horizon. However, the year did not live up to the hype as the Spartans failed to become bowl eligible. 13 on your side's Mark Skoll Jr. tells us how last year might be a blessing in disguise for the green and white in 2023. A 5-7 and seven record was certainly not expected from Michigan State in 2022. However, Spartans head football coach Mel Tucker says that less than ideal season is what's going to lay the foundation for the MSU football program. Oftentimes you have to get kicked in the face before you can be great. The green and white faithful will tell you the Spartans were kicked in more than just the face last year. And the team is feeling it right now. This has been one of the longest numbers because I have, I mean, I've just been dreaming about putting the pads back on and playing. I, I mean, it can't happen any faster. That urge to get out there again is felt by everyone within the program. You know, we're just, we're just hungry. I mean, the coaching staff is. I mean, there's no, there's no sense of entitlement in our building. What's cooking in the locker room is a competitive environment. Competition is good, and that's exactly what we need after coming off a five and seven season. You know, may the best men win in every position. Coach Tucker told us after that season that no job was solidified. No matter how many games you started, what you accomplish individually, it's blank slate. Go out there and get it. Tucker says that mentality has led to Michigan State having the most talented team he's had since he took over the program in 2020. When you build mutual trust on a team, then um, you see guys holding each other accountable more often in a productive way. The accountability and productivity is quite obvious to see in the results the Spartans have seen in themselves this offseason. I think this year coming into it, the guys are a lot more focused and uh, ready to go because they don't want to listen. We don't want to repeat what happened last year. And MSU doesn't anticipate this year will look like last season at all. Hey, our goal is we're going to win every game on our schedule. That's our goals. I mean, we don't expect to lose any game. You never go into a game expecting to lose. So, I mean, it's just a successful season for us would be winning every game on our schedule. That's how we look at it. Reporting in Indianapolis, Mark School Jr., 13 on your side sports.